Hi, babes. I'm Mac, um, also known as the Leopard First Lashes. Um, I was so thankful and so grateful that and honored that Joe asked me to be a part of Good Vibes Sundays. So I'm here to basically teach my quick, easy, perfect complexion. And a little bit about myself is I have always found a, I've always had a passion for beauty. I actually like one of my earliest childhood memories is doing makeup with my grandmother my nana so i'm really thankful that she actually inspired me in a way to become so in love with beauty and so that's where it all began i still remember this hilarious little makeup kit that she got for me and definitely taught me how to do like 80s inspired makeup <laughs> but um she also gave me one of my first lipsticks and it was a revlon lipstick and it was in this <laughs> amazing red color so that's a, another thing that I love to <laughs> love to wear is red lipstick. But today what we're gonna do is focus on complexion. I am a makeup artist. I currently work for Dior. Um, and before that I was with Sephora for about three and a half years. And before that I worked for Sephora inside JCPenney for the beauty industry like retail for about seven years about. And I love it. There's nothing that I love more about it. I also do freelance makeup for um, for clients on the side, so whether it be like bridal or I work on set with models and photographers, um, that's that's what I do and I love. And I think my favorite thing about being a makeup artist is seeing that really good, like feel good confidence come alive. It's almost just like an aha moment and you just see that radiate from within anybody. And it's so rewarding to just know that you've helped anybody become, like feel the, their best. And <laughs> So that's my favorite part, and I just love helping boost confidence in anybody, whether it be showing them a makeup technique or showing them a new product. That's something that I genuinely love. For me personally, makeup can change my whole mood if I'm having like kind of like a iffy day, if I just put on a little bit of makeup or if I play with a new product or do a, an in inspired makeup look then that just really gets my creative juices flowing and that really just put, immediately puts me in a good mood. So with that being said, it's a little bit about MAC. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you my go-to products and how I achieve my perfect complexion. Starting out, um, prepping your skin is gonna be the key point of it all. And what I would say is your basic necessities are gonna be a good moisturizer as well as an eye cream. This one is the Tatcha Water Cream. Then you also have the Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Both of these work amazing underneath makeup. So we are gonna start with a fresh, hydrated, glowy complexion. And with these products, you don't need much of it at all. So I'm just gonna use about a pea size amount. I love recommending products and everyone has different skin types. And everything works differently too. So for me, I have about normal to combo skin. So I'm technically not overly oily, but sometimes I can get a little dewy in my T-zone, but who doesn't want a good glow, right? So these products work really well for combination skin. And as far as eye cream goes, the Complete Eye Renewal Balm from Alginist is my absolute go-to. This works as a primer underneath makeup as well. So like you should never have creasing or feathering for your concealer. This actually helps hold it into place, smooth fine lines and wrinkles underneath. And so you always wanna have a prepped uh, complexion before you go in with makeup. If not, you may end up seeing something that will, your makeup may end up um, like caking or catching on any type of dry skin. Then I'm gonna go in with this a little bit of setting spray. What this does is it just gives a boost of hydration to the skin as well as adds a nice grip to it as well. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Love, love, love this. Highly recommend getting the XXL size because you get twice the amount for like, it's one and a half, whatever that is. So I wanna say this is like $45 versus 35 for the regular size. All right, so now we're gonna prime the skin. The All Nighter is so good. So, so, so good. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. As you can tell, I love Tatcha products. This is going to give a nice, blurred, hydrated, and smooth complexion. 
So it helps fill in pores, fine lines, wrinkles without over drying the skin. So this is all of the product that we're gonna need for our face. Warm it up in between my paws, just on the tips of my fingers. And I'm gonna start at the center of my face. And then I use the residual to the outer portions of my skin. Don't forget to prime your neck as well because I will bring a little bit of product down here just to make sure everything is super seamless. All right, so now we have a nice blurred complexion. Time for foundation. I'm gonna use the Dior Forever. This is a 24 hour wear foundation. You can also go in with a tinted moisturizer or another foundation that you like. This one is my favorite because it gives me medium to full coverage as well as a 24 hour wear. And I'm going to apply this using a damp beauty blender. And I just kind of use my the back of my hand as my palette. And I'm just gonna bounce this on my skin. Never pulling, a slight bounce. And notice I am bringing it down my neck as well. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I'm also not going up into my under eye area just yet. I'm saving that specifically for concealer. So as you can see, this has already completely evened out my complexion down here. There's something so soothing about doing makeup to me. I could sit at my vanity for hours. But this is my type of self-care. And I just make sure this is all blended out. And I'll use the residual, like I said, down my neck, just to make sure everything is super seamless. If you wanted to build coverage, I def definitely recommend going in after it's dried a little bit. But we're not doing that today. Let our shine, our skin shine through. And then we're gonna go with concealer. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Love this concealer. For the reason you don't need much of it, a little bit goes a long way. So I like to go underneath my eye area. I'll dab a little bit on the, on the tip of my nose. Touch on my Cupid's bow, forehead and chin. And this is going to be more than enough concealer. <laughs> this is gonna give instant full coverage. And again, I'm using the t my Beauty Blender, but this time I'm using the t uh, tip of it. The pointed side. I'm trying so hard not to make that funny concealer face. <laughs> but what um, the under eye concealer is also going to do, aside from conceal any type of discoloration that you may have underneath the eyes, it's also going to help sculpt the face as well. So as you can see, this has already like brought my cheekbones a little bit higher and brought everything to the surface. But can we talk about this concealer and how quick it was just to conceal and brighten that under eye? And this, another great thing about this concealer is that you'll never get any creasing. I've actually found that even my driest clients or my clients that may be a little more mature, they never have any creasing when it comes to this concealer, which I love because you don't need much of it at all. Next up, now that we have our concealer, our cream products on, I'm gonna set my face using a little bit of translucent powder. And there are a million translucent powders on the market today. It can be a little overwhelming on which one to choose. I'm looking at my vanity right now and I have about seven, but this has been my go-to. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the reason I do love this one is that it is never too cakey, it's blurring, and it's brightening as well. They also have about six different shades as well. So you don't have to, you don't have to like stick with one shade and it's it really hits all of the, all of the skin tones. So I'm picking up just a little bit of this translucent powder on my um, Sephora collection number 99 brush. This is great for under eyes because it just fits so perfectly underneath here. And I know it's all the rage to bake, but baking is not for everybody. This is just a quick go-to makeup look. So I'm just setting this so I know that it's not gonna wear off throughout the day. And then I'm gonna use the residual of whatever is on my brush and I'm just going to press it in all over my face. I personally am a little more on the normal side everywhere else on my face except for my T-zone. So I'm not gonna cake a bunch of powder under here, especially since we're already using, we're going to be using more powder products. So it's technically going to set itself as well. So I'm now need to overdo it on the powders. All right, so our face is set. I am gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer and contour. And I love to use the Hoola from Benefit, a great neutral toned bronzer. So you can really get the best of both worlds if you wanted to bronze and contour with this. 
and I like to use a domed brush. This is from Sephora Collection as well. It's the number 79 brush. And I'm gonna use just the tip of this right here. Dust out in the excess, and then now we're gonna contour. Just do a quick contour. If you have trouble finding your cheekbones or where you should contour, highly recommend placing your brush on the tip of your ear and angling it down. That's where you're gonna find your natural, natural contour in your skin. Or a lot of people like to suck in their cheeks. I personally know where my cheekbone is, which it lines up directly with the tip of my ear. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to use small circular motions and I'm going to work inward. I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure either. And I, I'm almost using an, a sweeping up motion. This is gonna give a diffused effect when it comes to that contour. So I've sculpted out my cheeks. As you can see, that's created a little bit more definition in my face. It's given me a sunken area, contoured area here, and it looks, this my cheekbones appear to be a little bit more lifted. And I'm just working that up. I'll take a little bit more and I will use it on my jawline. So this is all the contouring that I will typically do, just a little bit on the outsides of my face. And then now we're gonna blush it up. So NARS are my go-to blushes, personally. Um, I go back and forth between these two. You have Orgasm and then you also have Dolce Vita. One's a little bit more mauve -y. I think my favorite one is going to be the Orgasm, as you can tell. Definitely hit pan here. What I love about this blush is that it's going to smooth the skin. It gives you that perfect amount of flush to the skin. And then it is never too dry, never too shiny. It's just right. All right, for blushing, I'm just going to smile. This is something I do with my clients all the time is give me your cheesiest smile. And then that's where you're going to blush. <laughs> and then I'm obsessed with the new, what is it called? The Orgasm X so beautiful and then you see it just gives that right amount of glow right. my favorite part y'all highlighting it's my favorite highlighter i'm so sad that it's discontinued but it's so good but this is the amrezi highlighter from anastasia beverly hills love this highlighter the formula is absolute perfection i keep hoping they're gonna come out with another one that is the same formula but maybe some other shades any highlighter will work. I like to use a super small highlighting brush. Nothing too big because the area that you tend to highlight isn't enormous, it's not huge. I am going to start on my on top of my cheekbones and I'm using what's called directional blending, going in a small circular motion and just really building up that highlight. But it gives you just that beautiful, smooth, dewy look. But I mean, it's just so cute, that glow, honey. A highlight can just really help lift things, bring it forward, accentuate anything. So I will go just right here on the tip of my nose and then bring that up just ever so slightly. And anything that you wanna accentuate, you can hit a highlight to it and it'll just make it pop even more. So I love to hit my cupid's bow. Complexion's basically done. What I'm gonna do is finish it off with Sutsy setting spray. Personally, I feel like uh, if you have a perfect complexion, a woman can conquer the world. Nothing else matters if you have a great complexion. So I am gonna pop on a quick little lip. Look, it's done. <laughs> How do we order? Okay, so these nails are from my nail gal named Omira. She's actually at Unruly Girl Nails. She is linked on my my page. I just did a look inspired by her, by her nails and you can click there. She's so great. She's doing a special right now for $25 for these nails, girl. And she will make anything that you want come to life. Glitter and cow print. <laughs> She's the best. These are $25, all you have to do is just DM her. Um, you can also feel free, you can DM me, um, reach out, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about this little tutorial, I'm more than happy to help. Or if you wanna book me once all this is over, I also do personal one-on-one -on -one classes. So we can do that. But whatever you need, we'll make it work.
Well, I had so much fun on here. Thank you so much, Joe, for having me. And again, please feel free to DM me. It is a well-loved blush. I need to re-up on it. But please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I hope to be a part of this Good Vibes Sunday again. Um, I actually think Joe and I have some, some things in the work for you. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then again, feel free to reach out for, to me if you have any questions at all. Um, I would be more than happy to help. And I hope you all have an awesome Sunday. Bye, babes.